for this question, um, you're being asked to divide two rational functions. And if you notice, they look like two fractions being divided. So just to review how to divide fractions, um, for example, two thirds divided by four fifths, we need to recall that we are going to flip this second fraction and we're also going to change that division to a multiplication so keep change flip was the shortcut that you were taught so that will be two thirds times uh five over four so we're going to do the same process um to this division and then once we convert it to a multiplication we just multiply straight across but of course in the level of algebra two so let's start by rewriting this with the multiplication version of it. So x squared plus x minus 30 over x plus 6. And then we're going to multiply times the reciprocal. So x plus 7 on the top and x squared minus 12x plus 35. Okay, so now you have the multiplication of it. We're going to factor. So to factor, um, if it's a trinomial, you're going to use the strategy of a times C and then B to find your two binomials. Um, if you notice, we are going to factor this top trinomial and this bottom trinomial. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to have A times C, so 1 times negative 30. That is negative 30 at the top, and then your B value is a positive 1. So you ask yourself, what two numbers do I multiply to get 30? What are the factors of 30? So you have 1 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, 4, uh, let's see, 30 divided by 4, doesn't go, so not 4, and then 5 times 6. So as you're making this list, your goal is to see which combination gives you that positive 1. 5 and 6 can give you a 1 if you subtract. So we're going to use 5 and 6. And we want a positive 1, so we're going to make 6 a positive and 5 a negative. Because negative 5 plus 6, the answer will be positive 1. And negative 5 times positive 6, the multiplication, um, the product of that multiplication will be negative 30. So this numbers work out for that top. We're going to write the binomials x minus 5 and x plus 6 replacing that trinomial and then we just write x plus 6 underneath times x plus 7 at the top for this one and then now let's do the other trinomial we're gonna do a times c for this one so that's 1 times 35 that's positive 35 and then the b value is negative 12. So here we do the factors of 35, that is 1 times 35, and as we know, that is also 7 times 5. And 7 times 5 will give us 12, so we're going to use 7 and 5 to get that negative 12, and in order to add these, they both need to be negative, that way we can end up with negative 12. So negative 7 and negative 5 is what we're going to use as the binomials, x minus 7, x minus 5. And now that everything's factored, we're going to look for um, factors that we can cancel, that we can not cancel, but simplify into a one-to-one -one ratio. So we definitely can simplify x plus 6 and x plus 6 right here. And then x minus 5 on the top, x minus 5 on the bottom. The only two factors that are left are these two. So that results in your answer. So the answer would be C.